So in the past year, I was able to more than double my subscribers here on YouTube. Started at 1,600 last September, and we're currently at just over 4,000 in the month of July 2024. <laughs> By the way, if you're a subscriber and you've been watching my videos, thank you so much, really appreciate it. So one of the ways, one of the ways that I actually was able to do this in a year was posting daily videos, Monday through Friday, long form. I'm not talking about posting daily short form, although I do post some shorts nowadays. Posting daily long form videos has really been something that I've leaned on to get such such good subscriber growth in the past year or so. Now, like anything in life, there are pros and cons to this approach. This approach really worked out for me. It may work out for you, but you may end up just being better off posting that standard one video per week on YouTube that everyone says, right? Everyone says you can just gotta post one video a week, one good video a week. I went the opposite direction, posted five videos a week. So let's talk about it. So I always like the idea of posting more quantity but simple videos rather than post one really big project video. And reason being as, especially if you're a beginner, I still consider myself a beginner. If you spend two weeks on a video and the video flops, that's gonna suck. And now you gotta spend another whole week on that on the video, just fingers crossed to hope that it's to hope that it's gonna do better. That's a that's tough. Whereas if you post a video on Monday and it tanks, well, you've got the next day, Tuesday, to just post another one. So if you're posting five videos per week, one video doesn't have as much stock in your views or your success as just posting one video per week or one video every two weeks or even one video per month. Mind you, this is more for people that have below 10,000 subscribers. The bigger follower, the people with a bigger following, they can pretty much they have a lot more leeway, a lot more room, more room for error. They can post once a week. Some of them even post once per month and their views on that one video are just absolutely insane. Good for them, it's a lot of hard work. But I always liked the idea of posting one video per day or multiple videos per week and it just makes it easier. Now, instead of posting seven videos per week, that's a lot. I enjoyed doing Monday through Friday just because it gave me a bit of a break and then I could kind of prep the week. And I used to go into Sunday night with two videos ready to go. Actually, I do have two videos videos ready to go. This is a Monday time I'm filming this video. So it's kind of cool how it just gives you a bit more room to space out the uploads. You it feels like you can just easier to pace yourself, believe it or not even though we're talking about posting a video every, every day during the week. But keeping videos simple, doing more simple videos, is always more of what I wanted to do. Rather than spend a month on a big, huge production video, like a Mr. Beast style video, that was never really my thing. So if you like posting just basic videos with a good storyline, you just wanna to talk to the camera, you wanna edit, you don't wanna go crazy with the transitions, you don't wanna go crazy with any of the, what's it called, any of the editing effects, posting a daily video Monday through Friday might be for you. The reality of posting more quantity of videos versus a higher quality, fewer videos is that you're definitely gonna grow better with just one, high, one higher quality video is going to get you a lot more followers, a lot more views, and do a lot more for you as a creator than just posting super simple videos nonstop, constantly. I know because that's one of the major downsides of posting simple videos every single day rather than channeling all that effort into one weekly video. 
So it's not gonna grow your channel nearly as fast as posting a bunch of really good videos. And then if one of those videos happens to go viral, forget it, you can get like 10, 20,000 subs in a matter of a month. But where it actually does help out is it helps you out. You're gonna get so used to talking to the camera. You're gonna get so used to editing. You're gonna get so used to just being super efficient with your process that it, it's just you should get so good at it because you're doing it every single day. Think about if you do something every single day or you do it once in a while, you're gonna get so much better at doing it nonstop. It's repetition, right? If you go for a walk every day, you go to the gym every day, you're gonna see better results than if you just went once per week. A one great example I can tell you is back in September, to edit a 10 minute video would take me three, four hours. Now to edit a 10 minute video, one hour. It literally takes me less than half the amount of time to make the same caliber of video that it did one year ago. And as you can see, there's not a lot of people around right now. You're gonna get so comfortable talking to the camera in a lot of situations. You're not gonna care if people look at you weird. It's really going to force you, or not force you, it's gonna make you grow as an individual, as a creator. And you're not gonna care about people looking at you saying, what is that guy doing? Talking to a camera, talking to a phone. By the way, if you talk to a phone, it's a little bit easier using your phone as a vlogging camera. But in the end, it really doesn't matter. It, it just You just get so comfortable doing it that you can do it in large quantities and your quality is going to go up organically. And now personal growth as a, hold on. See, I still don't like filming as I'm walking by people if I'm talking about a certain subject matter. I feel like they're gonna hear me and ask me questions, but that's part of, that's just part of filming outside. Personal growth, not gonna remember what I was saying. What was I saying? What was I saying? Personal growth as a creator is something that we all overlook, myself included, right? We're also focused on, you gotta get the views, you gotta get the subscribers, you gotta be able to make a living off this, right? Fire your boss, you, you know, right? You wanna quit your job, you wanna just be able to make YouTube videos and life is great, right? We tend to miss, or not think about, all the extra stuff and all the extra work that goes on behind the scenes. And when you commit to posting a video every single day, if you're like me and you got hyper focus and you just you're, you're, you do better when you form simple habits like that, it forces you to just be super efficient and it forces you to be committed. Whereas one video a week, I mean, you could do one video a week, but you get so good at it, one video a week's gonna take you four or five hours. And if you got a full-time job, and you're just doing YouTube on the side, then sure, one video a week might be all that you can do. But for me, the time of filming this video, I'm actually doing YouTube full time. So one video a week is just, quite frankly for me, it's the lazy way out for me. And if I'm going to film that one video, it's gonna take two or three days to film, which I don't particularly love doing that. I've done it before and I've got some good results, but then I've done it before and the video doesn't do that much better. So doing one video, per day, Monday through Friday, forces you to commit. You also can experiment a lot more. It just gives you a lot more data to work with and you can get better as a creator. All right, so what does this mean? Should you do daily videos like I've done in the past? Should you stick to the more tried and true, what just do just what works for everyone, one video per week, make it a good video? Well, I can't answer that question for you, but here's what I would recommend. Make sure that every single video you film actually add some sort of value for your audience. Every time I try to add value to my audience, like right now I'm filming a vlog, but I'm trying to add value to all of you that are watching, the videos do much, much better than if it was just, hey guys, I'm here in New York, it's about to rain, I took the subway, and we're getting coffee. You like coffee? You like New York? You know, things like that is more just a random, random play-by-play. -play. Hold on, there's a lot of traffic. Things like that are just a more random play-by-play. -play. And unless you're a celebrity or unless you're Emma Chamberlain, Casey Neistat, no one's gonna watch, no one's gonna care. And quite frankly, they shouldn't care. You know, my videos that didn't do very well were just, there was no story, there was no value. So make sure that every single video that you film provides some sort of value to your audience. The second thing is gonna be, try to set aside a lot of time to work on this stuff every single day 
or more than once per week. If you want to get good at something, you got to do it consistently. And that may mean taking three or four days per week after work to post one video a week. That may mean spending five days to work on two videos per week. That may mean spending five days a week posting 10 videos a week. It really is up to you as much, post as much as you can, but make sure the videos are of a high enough quality and provide enough value. And when we talk about quality, hold on. They are constantly ripping up the sidewalks in, in my neighborhood. But you're gonna wanna make sure, oh, this truck's gonna make a lot of noise, hold on. Something else I've learned too about filming videos every day, you learn it's just easier sometimes to wait for the noise to pass or stop, film on a quiet street than film in a busy area like Times Square. So as many videos as you can, but then make sure that their quality is good enough and make sure that the story is good enough. Story and value are a lot more important than high quality editing, a lot of, a lot of special effects. Definitely edit the video so that it's easy for the viewer to follow along. We're gonna go this way because it's less people and less noise, less distractions. So you're doing this full time or you got a lot of time to do it, I would say definitely take steps to work on it every single day. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to post a video every day. I don't really post a video every day anymore. I try to post more than one. One should be the minimum if you're doing this full time or if you have a lot of time on your hands. One is still good if you wanna grow. One good video per week is gonna grow you faster than five mediocre videos, but definitely try to post more. It's just going to force you to commit. It's gonna cause you to have better habits and you're just gonna get a lot more efficient and you can just edit a lot faster, talk to the camera a lot faster. And who knows, maybe you'll be like me and you'll double your subscribers in a year or maybe you'll surpass me and you'll double your subscribers in a month. If I could do this stuff, you could do this stuff. I'm not an expert videographer, video editor, just self-taught, sat down, put in the work. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it added value. I will see you next time, and as always, thanks for watching.